Welcome to the Delta Rave walkthrough video. In this video, I'll be going over where to find FKIK switching, space switching, the face rig, the rig for her hair, the rig for her hoodie controls, um, a cool feature that we have for her IK spine, and where to find the secondary and tweak controls. So let's get into it. So to get started, to do any FK or IK switching or space switching, you'll want to use this menu back here and select the corresponding control to the limb that you want to do switching on. So if I want to switch this IK arm to FK, I'll select this control back here, turn it on, and there we go. We also have some follow space controls. So for example, we have arm follow, which means that when you move the IK control, the hand will always stay in alignment with the lower arm when you move the control. We also have auto stretch, um, and we also have IK follow, which means even if you move the cog, the IK arm will follow along, but you still have the functionality of the IK control. And you can change um, which space that follows along to. We also have FK follow rotation. And what that does is if I were to lean delta forward here and to bit to the side, if it's on when the torso is rotated, the arm will follow one to one in that rotation. But if you turn it off, the arm is not following exactly now. And for IK, we also have the pull vector follow, which changes how the pull vector behaves. Same for the legs. You can switch IK, FK. We have auto stretch and we have some IK follows and pull vector. We also have space switching for the head. If you go to the head control, and if I were to lean delta forward again, if I turn head follow rotation on, then whenever you rotate delta, her head will be following along one to one. But if you turn it off, now if you rotate her forward, she sort of like counter animates that, counter balances that out. Generally, that control is, it's there for, it depends on what type of motion you're animating. You know, if your character is running, jumping, you know, doing a lot of heavy action, um, or even if you're just sitting there talking, you'll even notice like, you know, if I lean forward, my head likes to counter that and remain stable. And that's because, you know, we're looking around with our eyes and we want to be able to clearly focus on what we're seeing. If when I'm leaning forward, my head is going all over the place and it's following my spine completely, it's hard for me to focus on what I'm seeing and it makes your character feel less engaged. Now, having it turned on so it's following along can still be really useful for, let's say, if your character is like in a tuck and roll and she's spinning through the air. It just depends on what motion you're animating and you have both features for whatever your need is. Now, moving on to the face rig, the hair, and the hoodie. The hoodie is a super cool part of Delta's design, um, and if you go to the head control back here, you can turn on the hood controls here. And you have a full set of tweak controls, which will give you very fine detail control over the hood. So you can animate, like, you know, wind rippling through it, or if she's leaning against something, or if she's brushing it away a little bit. So this control, these controls give you a high level of detail for the hood. And if you want to turn the hood off, you can do so over here. We don't have a control for pulling it back. The idea is, is, is that on Delta's costume, she has this zipper and the hood zips onto the costume. So if, you want, she, if she wants to take it off, she just unzips it and takes it off. I don't think we have a control for the zipper over here, but these pieces of geometry, the ring and the zipper sort of metal piece itself they are separate geometry so if you've ever wanted to rig that up yourself and animate that action you totally could let's turn that back on because it looks cool now for the face rig we have a full set of macro and micro controls for the face rig macro controls are the large um broad controls where they control large area of the face so for example this control over here is for the general translation and rotation of the mouth. So if I want to open it, pull these corners up a little bit. And then if I were to rotate this just a little bit, 
Then that's with the macro controls. Then if you want to do tweaking and fine tooth sculpting, you can go in with the micro controls to get a more specific shape. Generally, um, it's recommended that when you're doing facial animations, start with the macro controls and then layer in the micro controls as you layer in more and more detail. Don't start with the micro controls because they can get overwhelming pretty quickly. We also have a full set of controls for the hair and you can turn that on again by going to the head control back here and turning it on. Delta has a lot of different sections of hair and we have a full set of controls for each of those sections. Now, moving on to the spine, like the other Agora community characters, Delta only has an IK spine. We don't have both an FK and an IK spine, but instead what we have is a very cool feature to get the best of both worlds. So, if you go to the torso control back here, there's this feature called distribute rotation. And if I turn it all the way down to zero, let's see this out, zero, this out, then when you rotate it, it operates like a completely IK spine. So if I rotate this way in real life, if I rotate that way, I automatically lean in that direction. Like the translation, my chest translates that direction. But in order to get that in IK, you have to rotate and then translate over. Some people prefer working that way, other people do not. So if you don't want to work that way, you can instead turn this feature up. It comes in automatically at 0 0.5. Then as you rotate, you get more of that lean. 0 0.5 is the default. Those are generally the settings. The default settings are the ones that we found work best. But if you want a full FK spine, just go over here, turn it all the way up to one. And now you have the full feeling and functionality of an FK spine. Last but not least, we have the secondary and tweak controls. To turn those on, you can go to the main gear back here, and we have the secondary control visibility and the tweak controls. The secondary controls are the bendy controls. So this allows for bending the arms a little bit, shaping it a little bit nicer if you want a stronger curve through there for your pose. It's also great if you're doing very cartoony animation. There is also some level of scale control using those features. And for the tweak controls, there we go. For the tweak controls, these are very fine-tuned sculpting controls. So it's for any really small details you want to refine on your poses or on the shape of your character and their silhouette. For certain characters like Beta, he's super muscular, so you can also use those for jiggle controls for like a character like Beta, but Delta is a lot slimmer, so these tweak controls are a lot more for just very fine-tuned shape control. And that's it. That's Delta. Um, she's a super cool character, super cool design. Um, we're really, really happy to be releasing her to the community. We hope everybody has a lot of fun with her. If you animate with her, you know, let us know. Email, email us tag us on social media, you know, send it in the Discord. Um, if at any point you find bugs with the rig or something that doesn't act like how you'd expect it to, if there's anything you're struggling with, um, leave us a comment below or contact us through the Discord or email and we'll do our best to help you out. But yeah, that's Delta. We hope you have fun with her and happy animating.